What is climate justice? I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science. We hear a lot about climate justice these days, about eco-justice. What do people mean? There is a new peer-reviewed study out from the University of Waterloo on BS that you paid for with taxpayers' money through an NSERC grant. The paper addresses word mismashes that sound profound but mean nothing. Phrases like climate justice fit that bill. Here's an example. In the name of climate justice, Naomi Klein and Bill McGibbon put an oil company on trial in Paris at the COP21 climate talks in December. They called it a people's trial in the name of justice, but they tried the accused in absentia with not one voice for the defense. Ironically, tragically, this occurred in Paris where the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen had been adopted after the bloody French Revolution on August 26, 1789. And similar principles were affirmed by the UN on December 10, 1948, at the Palais de Chaillot in Paris. Pertinent excerpts of the original Declaration. Article 7. No person shall be accused, arrested, or imprisoned except in cases and according to the forms prescribed by law. Article 9. As all persons are held innocent until they shall have been declared guilty. Article number 11. The free communication of ideas and opinions is one of the most precious of the rights of man. Every citizen may accordingly speak, write, and print with freedom. In Ms. Klein's book, This Changes Everything, a woman from Bolivia claims that developing nations are climate creditors who have the right to demand money and technology from industrial nations to cope with the predicted climate change. Is that climate justice? Isn't justice founded on evidence, not predictions? Since scientific evidence does not support her claim, how can that be climate justice? It's not. That's extortion. If anything, the West would have to charge back the technology debt against all the countries claiming to be climate creditors. Could get pretty expensive. After all, who invented oil and gas extraction? Who invented mining? Who invented businesses that employ thousands of people in the many trickle-down industries and provide us with energy, the equivalent of 97 servants each, and thousands of useful products and substances? Who developed air travel, modern medicine, cell phones and computer technology? Who went to the moon with all its commercialized spin-offs ranging from ballpoint pens to tinfoil to GPS? And who's using all that technology while condemning those who developed it? So when people talk climate justice, remind them of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. Fair trial, free expression, human rights. And since there's been no warming trend for more than 18 years, despite a big rise in CO2, and despite a little bump due to El Nino, maybe the people who should be on trial are those who have terrified millions with climate catastrophe claims. The people who have turned national economies upside down and forced millions into unemployment and heat or eat poverty, trying to reach unrealistic and unattainable climate change targets. No such thing as climate justice. Climate just is. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.